Um, you pretty much just lose your money, a chance at a good future, your academic standing, most of your job opportunities, your self-respect, and your firstborn. It's kind of what I and most people thought failing a course would be like in engineering. I mean, we're always told how competitive the market is, so surely failing means that you're no longer competitive and should just perform a tensile test on your own neck. But goddamn, clearly it's not like that, and so let me tell you exactly what happens if you fail and give you some advice. Let's begin. <laughs> Many courses and engineering degrees have failure rates over 40%. So yeah, failing a course is very close to actually being the norm. And although it changes between colleges, what you go through after failing a course typically goes something like this. If you only just failed, you often get the opportunity to resit a different version of the final exam at a later date. And if you pass it, you pass the course, it's pretty good. Otherwise, if you failed like the Ouya, you'll just have to come back in the next study session that the course is offered, and depending on your college, this could be in the next semester, or during the holiday semester, or in the next year, and you just do it again. And yes, it sucks, and it could push your degree back a whole year, but that really isn't a big deal, or that bad of a thing. You know, at the outset, many students set up their degrees so that it goes for five years instead of four, because it kind of makes sense. Since instead of being overworked, overstressed, filled with suicidal misery, and doing poorly as a result, by giving yourself more time, you can achieve grades that would be impossible for other students to achieve. And students who fail a course often end up doing better overall than students who never failed, simply because they have more time. Seriously, I can't tell you how many times I had a semester with four very difficult courses, and it was just impossible to do well in all of them because of the amount of time each required, but some of my friends who failed a class only had to do one or two of those courses that semester and did much better than I did or could have done. So don't think that failing a course means that your GPA is irretrievably fisted, because it isn't. Also, if you have to redo a class, you'll have just increased your opportunities for networking, and you get to play the oracle figure who knows the course content, so other students will be flocking to you and offering you favours for the information. Probably more like this. However guys, there is one possibility that may occur if you fail a course, and which will probably end your engineering career and that is becoming disheartened or disillusioned. You know, we all like to think of ourselves as prodigious gods who could ruin Einstein in a 1v1, and so often when students fail, they just can't accept it and move on. They just can't accept that even though they didn't study a lot, they couldn't get through on their innate wit. And this is something you must watch out for. You know, Winston Churchill said, success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm or the plebish alternative, just stick at it mate. If you aren't failing, and if failure isn't the most likely possibility, you aren't growing. And failing should just be a sign that you've found something that is going to improve who you are. You know, there are so many big companies out there who don't even pursue business ideas unless the most likely outcome is failure. Because it's only when failure is likely that you know you're innovating and progressing. So seek it and try and adopt a mindset where you're almost thankful that you've found something that you fail at. And guys, I hope this video reduced any anxiety you might have towards failing. I know I worried about it, but it really doesn't mean anything and it won't affect your future if you don't let it. And here is today's engineering meme. Also, we're about to hit 100 subscribers, so thank you guys for being here and I hope I brought you some clarity and have made your lives a bit less stressful. Be sure to let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to specifically cover. And as always, good luck out there.